This is a video response to Hollis Hillis and like everything you said in your video was like directly offensive to me so you better take all of that back. Hey PN, it is the weekend and I am here to talk to you about Nadi time travel. I think that one of the time periods that I would definitely love to go back to would be when these guys were popular and mass produced and just buy out the entire collection because when I was younger I was really into them but really poor and if I could go back with the salary that I have now I think I could really own that. My other period in the past that I would love to travel to would be the 1960s because that was a time in sci-fi when 2001 Space Odyssey and Star Trek were all conceptualized and people were kind of making these predictions about technology that we would have basically now and some of it was spot on like video chat and space travel. I know that there's a, a space program where I think it's Virgin you can just hop in a shuttle and, and just kind of tool around up in the uh, lower atmosphere, which is kind of cool. But some of it, like robots that can run your house and, you know, potentially kill you if you piss them off. Glad to say we're not there yet. Although Siri has a, a mind of her own sometimes. But honestly, and I don't know if I'm breaking the rules here, Holly hinted that I might be. I would go to the future and in direct response to your nerdy question, I would go maybe 70 to 120 years into the future. Like you say, I think that technology will advance massively in that time. If you look back 50 years at what we could do then and what we can do now, it's pretty shocking. And I think that time will only increase the exponential rate of advancement in technology so it'll be really interesting to see what has happened and what people are capable of and I don't want to do that just by kind of living and, and existing and waiting until that happens because I, I reckon by the time we have you know easy and available space flight I'll be too old to get in a shuttle I'll be you know it'll be a health risk. My nerdy pleasure over the past fortnight was the fact that I have finally completed seasons one and two of The Walking Dead video games and I'm now on to season three which came out I think at the end of 2016 so you know I'm only two years behind. Season four is coming out soon which is the biggest reason why I'm finally powering through them. And my nerdy question is, I certainly would do this, if you were to go back in time to maybe like the 1960s or 70s would you create a sci-fi film and implant a bunch of really up-to-date knowledge from our time of what science is capable and call it science fiction and just wow people when they review it in a, <laughs> a few decades like with that Carl I'll see you on Tuesday rest of you guys peace out